Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Avon Lady. Today, I have lots to update you on. So, it's been actually been a really busy day. We're only in the mid-afternoon and I've had a lot going on today. So, a couple of things that I restarted this week was physio. I finally went back to physio and it was painful. I, okay, so for those who don't know, I have um, a sus, sus, I don't know if I'll be able to say this properly. I have a suspected labral tear on my left hip. So what's a labral tear? A labral tear, it's, I believe it's, has to do with my hip and it's like a cut in the cartilage or a tear in the cartilage where my hip bone goes into the socket. Um, we think it was caused from um, <laughs> dancing too early or getting back into dance before my body was really ready after I had Ginevra. I gained a lot of weight with Ginevra, so close to 50 or 60 pounds to be exact. And at first they thought that she was gonna be a really big baby, but it turned out that she wasn't. She was an average, almost tiny baby but um yes it was all mama eating way too much stuff <laughs> so anyways um i got it back into dance and i think my body wasn't quite ready for it yet and um i wasn't adjusting properly so therefore i have this injury and uh, over this past year and a half i've been you know working with a kinesiologist with a physiotherapist and a massage therapist as well as my sports injury doctor to really try to prevent um any more additional damage to it because it's apparently it's a really hard place to heal they say that they can go in and with surgery invasively and scrape it out and clean it out um, but it may not actually help a lot and might cause more um, like muscle spasms and everything and when they gave me that option I broke down in tears I could not stop crying I was like ah! and um, after I calmed down we worked out all the other options. And so for the past about year and a half or so, I've been, like I say, working closely with my team of experts. And oh my gosh, they are amazing. I mean, Dr. Chen, who's my physio, uh, my um, sports injury doctor, he is so patient with all of my questions and you know, with all the follow-up and just referring really great people for me to go to and other experts for me to go to. And then um, I go to CBI Physio uh, where my massage therapist Amy and um, my physiotherapist Shane have been like, ah, amazing. Like they have worked and taught me a lot about, you know, body health and body awareness and just different, ways to help my body support my injury and hopefully get to a place where I will no, I will not need the surgery. So the good news is, as of right now, surgery is not in play. I do not need the surgery. So yay! That's really great. I'm really happy about that because hip surgery is one of my biggest fears. It's like, don't Google it. Don't Google it at all because it will just scare you. It scared me anyways. Unless you're really, really, really curious about stuff like that, don't Google it. I'm telling you, I'm warning you now. So that's news number one. News number two is that one of my closest girlfriends, Mel, is engaged. And today we had a lunch get together, a lunch date um, during her breakout work. And she asked me to be a bridesmaid. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I feel, I feel, I feel so, so special that she wants me to be up there sharing in her big day. So I'm really excited. I love weddings. Like, I absolutely love weddings. I will probably be one of those bridesmaids that absolutely drive her completely bonkers because I'm like, oh my gosh. And yeah, so <laughs> Mel, I love you. Hopefully I won't, I won't do that to you. Um, just tell me to tone it down. If you ever need me to tone it down, I'll tone it down. But uh, yeah, I'm so excited. She and her fiance are super cute. Only met him once or twice, but he seems really nice from all the stories I've heard. And you know, they, they're a really cute couple. So I can't wait. And I'm sure I'll have a lot of wedding updates. I mean, <laughs> when when my wedding was over the next day, actually, um, I cried because I was like. <laughs> No more wedding planning. I loved planning my wedding. I was stressed out to the max, but I loved planning my wedding. And um, actually, my wedding anniversary is just around the corner, so hmm, I wonder what what Honey has planned up. Um, any other updates? Yes. Yeah. So it, you saw, and I actually mentioned in my last vlog that um, 
my fridge is in and Nelson has installed the pipes um, and it's great and it works. We have water. I drank it and it tastes amazing. Um, also today the guy came to install the gas pipe. I think it's called like he's a gas fitter. I don't know what it's really called. But anyways, he came to install the hose from the line into my new range hood and I get to cook tonight. I'm excited. So I'm going to probably just make a really simple stir fry because I still have a lot of things to do and I have another meeting that I need to run to sometime today. Yeah, but yeah, that's exciting news. Physio is good. I got asked to be a bridesmaid and also I can cook tonight. So yeah. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I have some other videos coming up that I'm planning for right now that I'm pretty excited about, about product launches and things. Yeah, so I'll see you. Bye.